G'day folks. Well, since Dakin decided to recall that mystery box unit that I picked up, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on pet pumps instead. Unfortunately, I lost that unit, or I actually got a phone call the following day that I had to return it because they decided they wanted it back. Uh, before, I, as I was packaging it up, I did notice the underside of the inverter housing was severely melted, so something horrible happened to that condensing unit. I uh, didn't quite find out just what it was. I know it's under the IGBT brick heat sink, so the IGBT is overheated. Uh, and on to today's project. These are Davy Power Chief 105s, 220, 250 volt, 50 hertz, single phase centrifugal pumps. That one's branded Sunbay, the Power Chief. That one there's just the Power Chief 105 with the Davy logo on it. Uh, this one doesn't run. Just makes a loud humming noise, like either the run cap's gone or a winding's gone. This one does run just fine, but I don't know how much of its actual pump housing is in here. But I'm guessing that's probably most of it. Deflection plate or whatever it is, and another impeller, so I assume most of it's there, as long as the silicon carbide seal is still there. If not, the one off this one might fit. So yeah, time to troubleshoot them. Oh yeah, I was definitely right about this one. It's called a run cap eruption. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen a run cap go like that before. Just plasticized. Plasticized. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, Sunbay the Power Chief. I had a feeling the motor was fine. It sounded just fine. It just sounded like it wasn't running, starting. Oh, I'll put a new run cap on that one and see what it does. Alright, cap's installed. Let's see if she runs. It's alright. Not too long without water. We do have silicon carbide seals and although they're tough, they get very hot. And because it's in a plastic housing, the silicon carbide will melt into the housing and just create a leak. So don't run these ones for very long without water. They don't like it. I've seen more than a few of these housings trashed because the seals have gotten too hot and uh, melted in and gone sideways and started leaking. So that one can go back together again. It's a runner. And that one there, I haven't found a seal for it. Everything else is in here. Barring the silicon carbide seal. Oh no, there's part of it there, that's the rear part, but there's no fixed moving part for the inside. Unfortunately I can't put that one back together again yet, but it does run. I suppose without seals and an outer clamping band for this housing, this one here is just an electric motor, flange mounted one. Put some power onto it, and that one runs just fine. Bit of vibration. Not very big. What is it? Kilowatts P1, P2, amps 3.2, 2850 RPM. That would kilowatts it is. P1, P2. Nothing. Haven't filled out the info. That one there is the same. There's no horsepower information. Oh, well, probably about roughly one horsepower at the most. Okay, well we've got a test rig set up. I've jammed a radiator hose into this tub, which is the one I used for my other pump tests. Nice discharge hose. And filling is complete. Pump's all set up. Obviously that's a discharge and that's the suction side. I've given it a quick wipe down. I'll give it a proper wash if it proves itself. A bit of seepage because we're above the water level. Yeah, hose isn't tight, but tight enough. Yeah, so let's give this a shot. Get the power away from the water. Ooh, bit of a leak there, but it works.
Bloody hell. Ended up in grunt. Right. Oops, just cavitated. That's cavitating now. Well, that worked well. I should have put some coil cleaner on it. Oh well. Thanks for watching.